Hello and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to take a look at this Apache 4800 weatherproof protective case that I picked up recently at Harbor Freight. Before we get started, I just want to mention that if you like what you see in this video today, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. So first off, I'll mention that this case retails at Harbor Freight somewhere around $60 as of August of 2019. Now I ended up having a 25% off coupon, so I was able to get this for about $45. So some of the main features of the case are that it is IP65 watertight and dustproof. It's got pick and pull foam inserts that we'll take a look at in a bit. The tag here says that it has strong, secure, and easy open latches. It has an adjustable pressure relief valve over here to equalize the pressure when you open it so that the case doesn't get stuck. And on the top here you can see that it's got two holes and sort of a metal reinforced tab for padlocks if you want to lock the case. So as you can see, the case is made completely out of plastic, except for a few things like the hinge pins and these metal grommets here. It's got a pretty robust handle up here on top that should take a fair amount of abuse. If we flip it over here, you can see the hinges on the back are fairly robust as well, and there is a metal hinge pin in there. As you saw a minute ago, these integrated molded feet allow the case to stand upright. Okay, and then on the bottom you can see here that it's got some molded in areas I think you could drill holes and put grommets in here if you wanted to bolt this down to something. Okay, then on the front of the case again, here's the handle and the pressure relief valve. So here's a look at one of the latches. You can see they are made completely out of plastic, but it is pretty thick plastic, and it feels like it's got a good positive lock on the lid when it's closed. The case has four of these latches, two on the front, of course, and two on the sides. So now I'll just open the pressure relief valve and we should be able to lift the lid right off the case. So inside the case was a set of instructions here for how to, one little small desiccant pack, and I also left the 25% off coupon that I used inside the case. So as far as the foam inserts go, you can see that the top here has sort of an egg crate pattern, and that comes right out. So this foam isn't the highest quality foam that you would get in a case like this, but it's also not the lowest case. I think it's about right for this price point. So the inserts are made of the same foam as the top, but you can see that these are die cut into little squares. These are probably about half inch or so on each side. And we can just poke these out to fit the shape of whatever you want to put in the case. Now there are two layers. There's one layer here, and then a second layer of the pre-cut foam. And then in the bottom of the case is about an inch or so thick piece of non-cut foam. So I took the foam out and I've made some rough measurements of the inner dimensions of the case. So what I've come up with is 12 and 7 8 inches wide, 17 and 7 8 inches long, and about 5 inches deep for the main part of the case, and about an inch and 5 8 deep for the top part of the case. And again, that's with the foam removed. I don't have a real accurate way of measuring the thickness of the plastic of the sidewalls here, but by my rough measurement, I think it's somewhere just shy of a quarter inch thick. So the thickness of the die cut in foam inserts is about two inches. So I'm gonna be using this case to build a go kit for my amateur radio equipment. You can see that the center piece of this is gonna be this Yezu FT891 amateur radio transceiver. So I've got it laid out here on the top layer of foam so that I can figure out which blocks I wanna punch out to fit the radio in the case. Okay, so now that I've got it roughly laid out, I'm gonna start using a pencil to just sort of poke the squares through and break the perforations in the right spots. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a nice pocket created for my radio and plenty of room to spare for the rest of the gear that I want to put in this go kit. That's pretty much going to wrap things up for my overview of the Apache 4800 protective case. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. And if you'd like to support my channel in another way, please consider visiting my Amazon store, which you'll find linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.